South Africa, diamond capital of the world. Diamonds were discovered in these rocks in the 19th century. Hundreds of thousands have been mined here. But only recently did scientists learn how they actually formed. Professor Steve Haggerty is an expert on how diamonds are created. Diamonds were a real mystery in terms of their origin. They were found in clusters. So you found one diamond and by golly there would be others to be found as well. So that led to the notion that the process in which the diamonds were brought to the surface uh, was possibly deep. Diamonds formed deep within the earth in an area called the mantle. The layer between the earth's crust and its superheated core. Down here Intense pressure changes the molecular structure of carbon by crushing its atoms together and forcing them into a new lattice-like structure. Under extreme pressure and temperatures, carbon becomes diamonds. The temperatures have to reach about 1500 degrees centigrade and the pressures about 50 kilobars. That's 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit, and the weight of over 4,000 grown men standing on your foot. 100 miles still remain between their source in the mantle and the Earth's surface. Luckily, they're fast-tracked to the surface by a substance called kimberlite. Kimberlite is a rock. It's the host rock to diamonds, even though the diamonds do not form in the rock, it's the transporter. Kimberlite is a volcanic rock that forms deep within the earth. As it moves to the surface, it creates a carrot-shaped pipe filled with molten rock, mantle fragments, and diamonds. When it breaks through the crust, it erupts in small but violent volcanoes. I like to think of these as volcanoes of opportunity. These rows, they picked up the diamonds from their safe deposit boxes deep in the earth, about 200 kilometers down, and then were explosively erupted. At the surface, magma builds up a mound of volcanic material that eventually cools and hardens. Hidden within the rock are diamonds.